Welcome, my dear students. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, my dear students. A new lecture in uh, in our accounting and particularly in the journal entries. And today we will talk about the purchase and sales. Purchase and sales transactions. Starting like as example, if we say like this as example now, on Jan 22, a company purchased materials for LE or for dollar, sorry, for dollar. Two thousand paid in cash. Paid in cash. So here, when we do this transaction right now, we will do it by the way, which I will show you right away. And we'll go also same like we did, here is a four parts table. And here is our two last, uh, let's make it larger a little bit. Sorry about that. And here we go also for this column, here it is. And we just want to make this column, what's going on guys, here it is. It's okay. Then we will say here on Jan 21, so this is Jan 21, I will take it control and see here. This is a transaction. And what happened? It bought 2000 for 2000 materials in cash. So here we will say from purchase, P-O-R-C-H-A-S-E-S, -E from purchases into cash. What happened here actually, I bought in cash. So this transaction is done in cash. Once it's done in cash, that means reducing the assets. Reducing the assets, we know before that reducing the assets means, let us see, any reducing the assets should be like, a, let us see here as example, Reduce decrease in assets will be credit. A decrease in assets will be credit, as example. So I will pay in cash. That means decrease in the assets. That will be credit. Okay. So in that case, I will say this is the $2,000. This is a $2,000. Control and C. Here is $2,000. Control and V. And here is another, uh, the $2,000. Control and V. And then we will discuss, we'll say purchases in cash, purchases in cash. This is the uh, description of the transaction, purchases in cash. That was for this uh, transaction on that day. So when we talk about, again, the purchases here increased. So it is debt because it's considered like assets. If you see raw materials, if you write raw materials, purchase, any kind of purchases, supplies, whatever, all this will increase, so it will be in, in, in the debit, or it will be to the left side when we do the journal entries. But the cash, you paid in cash, so the cash in your uh, box, cash box, decrease, because you, out of this box, you took out of your, the, the, of the box 2,000. So the box now is less 2,000. That means that the asset is less. As long as the asset is less, that means it is two. So it's credit. So the cash is 2,000 credit. And don't forget the clarification of the uh, video. Uh, so don't forget the uh, clarification of the video that is uh, you will write purchases in cash. You will write purchases in cash. The clarification, sorry, of the of the transaction is purchases in cash. So please don't forget to write it down. 
Okay. I will give you a chance one minute, about five minutes to do one like this before we move to the second transactions today about the purchases. Control and V on Jan 25, 25. A company purchased materials for LE, uh, let's say six, seven. I just want to change the numbers and for you guys to do it. We'll stay here around five minutes, then we'll do that transaction or less than five minutes till you do it, guys. Exactly, you will do like this one. Exactly, you will do like this one. Same likewise. Same likewise. Exactly like this. But only you will change the numbers and the date. That's it. We are waiting here till you do it. More two minutes. Okay, guys, so the same thing here, like I will say this again, I will take the same transaction here, copy, and I will put it here, paste cells, paste rows, here it is, but the only thing that I will change on Jan 25, this will be Jan 25, and the account will be 6,000 instead of 2,000, it will be 6,000, control and V, and control and V. And the same thing from purchases to cash about this. Okay. How about if my purchases was in on credits? So I bought now and I will pay on credit. What will be the situation? Purchases on credit. Let us talk about the purchases on credit. How it will be? Purchases on credit. I will give you an example right now. Let's say on Jan 27, the company, let's say the company, whatever the name is, purchased uh, materials or dollars uh 1500 and to pay later on this year to pay later on this year or to pay on a particular date as example to repair later on this year or to pay on uh april 1 23 as example. So in those two cases, no problem. We don't, we didn't pay cash, but also the purchase increase like here. So it's from the purchase, like I will do right now. I will show you right now. So I will do here again, the table to show you step by step, like exactly we are working on the board. So here I will say that the transaction was in Jan 27, control and C. 
This is Jan 27. Then the transaction was from purchases, from purchases. Why? Because purchases is a debit and it's increased so increasing the debit here the purchases into that time it's not cash for that reason it is closed in account payable remember i told you one thing purchases to account payable sorry about that print error Purchases to account payable. Let us enlarge it, make it first, like 16.16. Uh, 16. Here, purchases will be the side. And particularly, we have to move this also here. And we have to move this line here. Here it is, from purchases to account payable. And the amount is 1,500, control and C. This is 1,500. And here we will write the 1,500 again and we'll take this down so this is then we will write purchases on credit purchases on credit purchases on credit on jan 27 what happened here the purchases are increased more so increase in assets like you know increase in assets will go to debit like here Increase in asset will go to debit. So here we go. The assets increase and the purchases, which we have in the in the stores, increased. So it will be debit. Debit will be on the left side. Two, we didn't mention the, the name of the seller. The seller company, we didn't mention. And if we mentioned some books, you will find you in a seller account payable, then in between brackets here, the name of the seller. Okay, account payable, because we have many account payables but which one of them? So to know each one of them, uh, account payable, Abraham company, uh, Edward company, if it's written, if it's not written, okay, that's account payable, just to know the basics now for the moment, from purchase to account payable, and this 1,500 to 1,500. That's if we purchase on credit, if we purchase on credit, and here is the clarification uh, or description of the of the transaction that we purchase in credit. Why? Because we purchase and we will pay later. So this is why it is on credit. Okay. Same likewise, guys. You will do for me another one. You will do for me another one. We will not move to another step until we finish this step. So here, this is exercise for you guys. I will write it down there. On Jan 29, 29 or 28, the company purchased material, materials for $2,000. All the, this one has changed to be paid on April 2, year 23. Could you guys, this is an exercise for you now. I just want you to do it before we move to another uh, part. Here we go exercise for you so please do it same likewise here you will change only the numbers that's exactly from purchase to account payable I'm here for two minutes to get your answers, my dears, before we move. We are working on this example now. We are working on this example. You can see it here. That's what we are working on now, right now. It's same exactly like this one. Same exactly like what we did here.
Okay. Same likewise, what we did here exactly, we'll do in the second one. This is the solution. I'm going for the solution now. Control and C. And here we'll go Control and V. But we'll change then. Gen will be uh, 28. Here we go. Control and V. And the amount will be 2,000 instead of 1,500. Here we go. Control and V. Here we go. Control and V. And this is the exercise which we had just now. Okay. How about if I bought, bought or purchased goods, some of them with uh, cash and some will be settled later on. Let me show you this example. Let us go to a new example. And, and now I will move forward a little bit so that this is if we now will, if we pay in cash, we say we're paying, paying cash, like from purchases to cash. Okay, like this one, we did purchases to cash. No problem. But if we pay later on from purchase to account payable, okay. Also, let us say now that I will do a transaction where both of them together, I will purchase in uh, part on cash and part I will say to the guy, please, I won't be able to pay all the amounts. I will pay now half and the other half after three months. So now let us do this example on February, on February 3, the company purchased Uh, raw materials or materials materials with or of dollars uh, 20,000 paid 50% in cash and the rest after three months. So this sentence means that half the transaction uh, is cash and half the transaction was uh, on credit. So in that case, in such a case, I will do this one. So 20% first, I have to say what had been paid in cash, the cash payment, the cash payment, I'll check out, equals 20,000 times 50%. That will equals 10,000. So this is the first part. Then the credit payment will equals 20,000 minus the paid one in cash, which is 10,000. That will be also 10,000. So I paid half in cash and half on credit how I will register this transaction. So actually half of it in cash and half in credit. That's perfect. Let us go to see what we will do here. Okay. The first point is that we will do the, the table like we did before. Here we go. And here it is. I'm making one transaction by one transaction for the moment so that on February 3. So here we go, control and C, and this is February 3. We did both purchases, from purchases into two parties, cash and account payable, because half went in cash and half went in payables. So purchases into two things. 
into two things, cash with the amount of cash and account. And I told you sometimes we write ACCPAY, payable or the rest. So the cash is from the, uh, from the purchases, all the purchases are 10,000. Divided into cash is of 5,000. All of them 20,000, sorry, 20,000. It's 20,000, I'm sorry about that. 20,000. So 10,000 will be in cash and 10,000 will be in receivable. Let me put here this first, then take the 10,000, the other 10,000 and put it in front of the cash here. So give us a hard time. Hope that we can get this down here. Yeah. Let's stuck it here. Or take the cash out. Okay. I just want you to notice that the, uh, yeah, the account payable is also, and the purchase is here to the right, to the left, and both of them into the right. Can get it one step more here, yeah. That should be fine as well. Okay, from cash into account pay cash and account payable, they are both on the right side because they are debit, but the purchase is on the left. Let me do it also highlighted. So let's see if, say this is a uh, debit, then account payable and cash are credits. Here we go. And also I can uh, reduce the uh, volume of the, uh, so it can come, yes, like this way, that will be fine. Okay, that's fine. And I will do it with another color, so it will show that those two are credits. Those two are credits. So what happened in this transaction, like you see here, what happened in this transaction actually? In this transaction, in this transaction, we bought purchases for half 50% in cash and 50% in, uh, we will pay later. We will pay them later. That's why, so here we can say the transaction description. We can write the transaction description down. Payment or purchases in cash and credit. So this is the transactions description, purchases in cash and credit, or in cash and credit. Uh, you can make this with a light, red light, because this is, uh, here I put the uh, purchase, sorry about that, I put it on the uh, debit side, and the color is yellow, and the credit, the color is green, so that you can know from each other. And of course, the description is down there, so no worries about this. So that is these transactions, which are done, have paid. What happened actually in this transaction, the purchases are debits. So the debits, when increasing the debits, like here, debits increase, increase in assets, it's, it's assets. When increasing assets, that means it's debits. And the opposite is for now the purchases, uh, the cash had been decreased. The cash had been decreased. Cash is an asset. When I have a decrease in assets, decrease in assets, that is also in credit. So let's see like as example, if we have a, a decrease in assets, that means it is, uh, the, I just want to look for it, decrease in assets in credit, sorry. I, decrease in assets is credit. So that's why I put, the cash credit was 10,000. Account payable also. The account payables, it's already in, in credit and increase in credit. This is increase in credit. Let's see here. Or increase in 
credits, like what? Increase in liabilities, credit. Ah, here it is. Increase in liability, credit. So that's why we put it in the credit side. So like that way, from purchases to cash and account payable, and you can write also, if I give you the name of the company, you can write in between two brackets. So if I tell you Alpha Company, you will open a bracket and write here, Alpha Company, then close this bracket back. But uh, if I didn't tell you the name of the company, just say account payable, that's it. You can also write ACC POI as example like this. You can write like this, account payable. So you can write ACC POI. That means account payable as well. So it's left up to you. It's left up to you to write it like this or like it uh, totally, but I prefer that you write all of it. So show me that you're understanding uh, the meaning of the sentence. Show that you are understanding the meaning of that sentence. Uh, this for the moment, let us do an example like this. I will give you example exactly, but I will change for the numbers and change for the accounts, how to cal cal calculate it, control it and see. Here, this is an exercise for you guys. On February 8, a company purchased LE of 30,000. No, no, not say paid, paid 10,000, 10,000 in cash and the rest after three months or the rest after five months as example. So we'll do the same thing which we did here, but the numbers only will be changed. Shall stay here about five minutes for you guys to get me the answer or less. And you can do exactly copy and paste like what's in front of you here in this table. Exactly the same, but you will change the dates of the transaction. We'll wait here like around three minutes, then I will solve it with you guys. We'll work on it with you. So I think the time come now for us to do it, to solve it. I will just take this copy and then I will paste it back. Sorry about that, what happened here? We'll take it like that way, control and C, and we'll put it here, control and V from purchase cash payable. But the problem is that we paid cash in 10,000 and the amount is, let's go on February 8, control and C, this is will be February 8. Control and B, and the purchases of 30,000. So here the purchases will be 30,000. This will be three, 30,000, because we said we purchase in 30,000. 
10,000 in cash. So the cash is 10,000, and this one will be 20,000. So only I'll change here. This one will be two. Simply 10 and 20 will give me 10 and 20 will give me the 30. So it is from the purchases to cash and account payable with the 30,000. That was a solution of that question. Also the same, you write purchases in cash and credits like what you I wrote in front of you here. I do with you today, two kinds of purchases, purchases in cash and purchases on credit. So it, it will be to account payable and purchases part in cash and part on credit. And we did before, if you remember, that when we say we sign a note, then we will not write account payable, we we'll write notes payable. When you see the word signed a note, then you will do it notes payable. It's actually to account payable, then from account payable to notes payable, and some accountants will do it directly to notes payable. Uh, that was today's work. Shall see you in the next lecture. Thank you so much. And uh, for the sales transactions, we finished the purchase transactions. We'll go the next lecture to the sales transactions. Shall see you. Leave you in peace. Take care of yourself. Have a very wonderful day. Bye bye, everyone.